welcome back to Comageddon. This is John Wise, and today we're, I'm going to be talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles of old from the 1980s, the action figures that every, every, every kid absolutely had to have. And one of the most popular Ninja Turtle figures of all time had to have been Casey Jones. On the slopes. Casey Jones, of course, in the comic books and in the movies, is a hockey mask, uh, baseball bat, golf club uh, wielding uh, vigilante who ends up teaming up with the Ninja Turtles to fight uh, Shredder and all the evil uh, Foot Clan. But in the animated series, though he still tr stayed true to his overall appearance and vigilanteism, he was kind of more of a insane nutball. The Martians are coming. The Martians are coming. What a dingling. Um, but very colorful. So, here we are. Uh, the 1980s version of the uh, Casey Jones figure. Uh, let's go ahead and go over all the little details of Casey Jones. Okay, so, first off, you'll notice he is wearing his trademark hockey mask. And again, his appearance uh, is resembles more of his uh, original 80s cartoon appearance as opposed to the comic book appearance. Uh, we have the black and blue streaks. We have a nice little detail on the uh, uh, the mask here with the strap. Um, nowadays, if this figure was made, this would totally be overlooked. I guarantee it. Um, because Playmates now is not about paint detail whatsoever. In fact, we'll go over the weapons, and the weapons still lack the paint detail of today. So, But he is wearing this uh, little necklace here, uh, the strap for the shoulder pad. He has rips and tears in his shirt. Uh, you can even see hair on his arms, which is cool. Which will also go underneath the wraps on his arms, on his glove, uh, which <laughs> oddly stretches all the way underneath the figure. So, nice attention to detail even back then. Uh, we have the painted purple uh, sweatpants with the tears in the knee. Uh, he has that wrapped up at the knee, obviously. We got the tie strap. Uh, we got uh, ripped here at the uh, waist. Um, another ripped knee, wrapped knee underneath. We have green non-detailed shoes, just a straight, kind of a almost lime green color. Uh, the details pretty much go around the back. We got this, uh, the strap there for a shoulder pack. And if, right here we got his spine. So underneath there with his hood. So pretty cool. Um, Casey Jones came with some pretty cool accessories. One of which is a removable uh, golf bag to carry his array of weapons. Uh, his weapons of choice for the figure was a golf club. And not one, but two baseball, broken baseball bats. And they fit nicely in the pack so the figure can carry them around with him. Now, the Ninja Turtle figures of old were not known really for their heavy articulation but they did had they still had some pretty neat articulation such as the head which was moved left to right uh, they uh, arms moved up and down most of the wrists would turn um, now because of Casey Jones in the bag some of the articulation might be hindered a bit uh, the legs uh, moved out a little bit they were kind of on a ball joint so and no waist articulation. So, um, they also were known for having weird stances with their feet. Like, one foot will be flat and the other one will be bent. Which makes a figure, especially a figure like this, particularly hard to stand. Why this? Because of the weight of the bag. So, you go to try standing them up, and you really have to find a good position or he's not going to stand. And he also has to kind of kneel over a bit. So yeah, I'm having 
some major issues standing him. But, uh, yeah, I see. He's, so, <clears throat> you have to find the right balance to stand Casey Jones up here. But uh, Casey Jones was a lot of people's favorite. Um, I would happened to be able to find this Casey Jones on eBay. Um, it's been probably close to about a year now. And I managed to find him complete. So, this is a completed Casey Jones figure. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the packaging anymore. But uh, you could still find Casey Jones and other Ninja Turtle figures of old uh, from the 80s on places like eBay. Some of them are fairly cheap. I think this one cost me about 12 or $13, actually, complete. <coughs> so I got lucky there. Uh, other figures, uh, one of which I'll be bringing out later on here is a Krang figure, goes for a lot of money. So stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Comic Again, where all geek culture collides.